Okay, um, when I talk about, I mean, well, when anyone talks about a big head, they're usually referring to an overconfidently ignorant liberal. I mean, I'm not making that up either. I mean, I was, uh, I was watching this interview. Uh, oops. Oops, I mean, I was watching this interviewer. Uh, he was up in New York interviewing people about um, Alexandria Ocasio, Nina Pinto, or Santa Maria Ocasio Cortez in a new Green Deal. And this lady, clearly, she didn't know what she was talking about. So some guy in a yellow coat decided to walk on up to her as she was being interviewed and just take her away. And then like, oh, don't worry, I'll fend him off for you. And then guess what? He didn't know what he was talking about either. But that didn't matter because he sounded like he knew what he was talking about. Because he just, oh, yeah, well, that's just, uh, that wasn't really part of the um, deal. That was just part of the draft, you know? I, I don't know. I just, I really do not like liberals. Uh, but... Nevertheless, uh, when I refer to a big head, I'm talking about, but I'm talking about today, um, the Boston Globe reported that a lacrosse player was uh, benched because his head is too big. He's six feet tall and 265 pounds. Uh, I already forgot the name of the player, the name of the school, so I'm just going to do that real quick. All right, so his name is Alex Chu, and he plays football. But you're in the wrong sport. Uh, right now, he's he's now, it says right here, I'm looking at the article right now, he's now a freshman at Wheaton College. Oh, yeah, it says right here he was a lacrosse goalie. Um, he blocked uh, he blocked dozens of shots per game, um, hurling, some were hurled at him at 100 miles an hour. Okay, I guess it's opinion time. Okay, so my analysis is there are two options this person can have done. Um, one is he can, he can, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's 2019. Eventually they're gonna have the technology to build a bigger helmet. Or, or, this actually seems like, you know, one of those heartwarming stories about, oh, he's got a passion for lacrosse, but his head is too darn big. If you want a story about an emergency situation where a teenager needs some type of surgery, you know, in extreme circumstances, let's say his head is too big, and because it is, and there's no way to cure the big headness, the big headedness, what happens with transgender people, you know, if if you're a male and you you and uh, you have gender dysphoria, you know, you usually, the common sign is you have a micro penis, And it's the opposite of a girl's. If girls have, like, a huge um, clitoris, yeah, they're uh, usually they're going to get the surgery because they have gender dysphoria also. This guy has a massive head. So he can also get surgery to make it smaller, right? I mean, that only makes sense. I mean, if you're a guy... Being a girl is not a passion, okay? And vice versa. If you're a girl, being a guy is not a passion. So regardless of, you know, um, regardless of body parts not being up to code, so to speak, I mean, becoming the opposite gender is not a passion you deserve to um, achieve because it's not real. But this man... He does have a passion for lacrosse, so, I mean, if you want to go to the compassion route, say, hey, this guy, he, um, basically this guy has a big head, but he wants, he plays real hard, and he does real well at lacrosse. If only there was some way, and there is, there's some way, you know, it's, it's not called, uh, it's eight, I don't know. It's 2019, anything's a thing, if you believe hard enough. Can you believe I was going to talk about Andrew McCabe and uh, Robert Mueller from the same Boston Globe, too? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. That was from Fast News. I don't know. I'm just rambling on at this point.